The players in my current game got a hold of an ancient scroll of true resurrection, and in an attempt to undo the curse of Strahd, they tried to revive the man whose death sealed the curse. Sergei, Strahd's brother. After they cast the spell, it turned out that Sergei had been dead for over 200 years. But Grandmother Knight, the deity who gave the scroll power, summoned the players to her kitchen to make a deal. She'd been betrayed by her disciples in times forgotten. They'd stolen her essence and sealed it in a crystal, in a temple, in a pocket dimension. The players agreed to free her essence in exchange for extending the time limit on Sergei's resurrection. After surviving a siege of ghouls, tea with the Night Mother, and an incredibly difficult doorway puzzle, the party found a slick metal room. As soon as they entered, the door behind them shut. They could see another door in front of them, and above both doors, the numbers 1 through 20 were embossed in primordial. At its center was a well which encircled a button, like a moat. On the button was carved the symbol of a hand and all along the edges of the well were drawings of different weapons. The water below sparkled and moved strangely. So there they were, trapped in a metal room. First, they hit the side of the well with a weapon. Nothing happened. Then, they inspected the door. Nothing of note. They surmised that the weapons meant pressing the button would flood in a wave of enemies. So they all readied their weapons and flanked the doors, prepping their attacks for when Dafid walked to the well and pressed the button. A countdown began, the numbers above the doors glowing blue. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Oh no! 14. I pressed the button again! 20. 19, 18. I press it again. It resets to 20. I keep pressing it. It flickers wildly at 20, resetting over and over and over again. And so it went for nearly 30 minutes. The players checking every nook and cranny of the room, pressing the button whenever they reached 15 and resetting it. And in that time, they discovered the well enchanted their weapons. At one point, one of them tried drawing a door over the door with her enchanted spear, which did nothing, but it was a cool idea. And then they tried something risky. They let it count down past 10. The numbers turned red. 10, 9, 8. Seven, orange, six, five. The room went pitch black except the glowing numbers. Four, three. I pressed the button. 20, 19, 18. Then after exhausting every option, it became clear that the mystery would be found in the dark. Tansy ran to the door and waited till the room went dark again at four. She felt the door stir slightly in the dark. Then, when it reset, the door clanked loudly and stopped stirring. They explored this idea for roughly 10 minutes, waiting for it to hit three, then resetting the button, re-examining everything in the dark. Finally, they decided to let it go down even farther. Four, three, two. The numbers turned bright yellow. The whole room was flashing. One, I hit button. 20, 19. 18. Tansy, who was up against the door, yelled, <gasps> It moved! When it was dark, it shifted. Maybe if they just let it count down, they steeled themselves. They came to the conclusion that they'd have to make a leap of faith through the door in the dark. Three, two, one. Poke hit the button again. Other positive! What else is there? They yelled back. <sighs> Fine. They all ready themselves again. They knew they'd need these enchanted weapons for something. 10, nine, eight, seven, orange, six, five. The numbers flashed yellow, four. The lights turn out, all you can see is the numbers. Three, two, one. Everything's flashing now. Zero, the door starts to lift, but it's not enough. It's not high enough, they can't get through. And then, the lights reset, the doors open on both sides, and the room is safe. The players looked around anxiously. Nothing came. We all laughed, and then they made their way into the next room of the temple, unscathed. A mirror on the wall, a five-keyed lock, a key rack with only three keys, but that's a different story for a different time. The button room is a great puzzle to put early in any puzzle-heavy adventure. It's like a palate cleanser, a slice of ginger to get them to stop overthinking things. The rest of the puzzles, hard puzzles, 
that they went through during that night were solved with ease because of the room that says, here, have some enchanted weapons and don't overthink it. This version of the room looks like it does just because I don't remember how it was structured the first time I encountered it. I suspect it has its roots deep in the early days of the game or maybe just from Lost since we have seen it there. Frankly, in that context, the Lost context, my players did solve it pretty quickly since it took the Lost survivors nearly a decade to figure out. Thanks for watching this episode of the animated something. Animated Trap, um, brought to you by me, and um, check in the description if you want to know the people who are players in my group.